October 18, 2018 Ryan Pierce, Getty Images The Duke and Duchess of Sussex took part in a mental health group circle on Friday. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are on day four of their Australian tour and they are tackling the topic of mental health. As part of their interaction with this issue, the royal couple made their way to the iconic Bondi Beach in Sydney on Friday where they met up with a group called In One Wave. As reported by the Daily Mail, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex arrived early in the morning to interact with the team on the white sandy beach. Walking hand in hand, Meghan and Harry waved to the many royal watchers who were there to see them. They ended up taking their shoes off and going barefoot while they were there. Expectant Duchess stunned in a sleeveless striped maxi dress by Australian designer Martin Grant. She teamed the dress with matching wedge heels that she abandoned as soon as she and her husband hit the beach. Harry wore beige pants and a blue long sleeve shirt for the occasion. Once they arrived, they were presented with flowery lace placed around their necks. The group meets for Friday sessions on Bondi Beach and they were thrilled to have the royals join them to chat about mental health. These sessions consist of people with differing backgrounds to share their own challenges with mental health issues. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have both become advocates for mental health, along with Prince William and Duchess Kate. Harry had previously opened up about his own struggles after Princess Diana died. Peace Dove, joining the anti-bad vibe circle at Bondi Beach, as people of all ages from the One Wave community share their experiences of mental health issues with the Duke and Duchess of Sussex hashtag royal visit Australia pick .com slash f great my 3s, Kensington Palace, at Kensington Royal, October 18, 2018 The parents to be sat down in what they call an anti-bad vibe circle with the members of the group to chat and laugh together with the surf behind them. They took part in a group hug as well. The group tends to focus on good vibes and positivity in addition to sharing their experiences. Harry and Meghan and the anti bad vibes circle hashtag Bondi pick Twitter dot com slash TMM zero pool, Rebecca English, at re underscore Daily Mail, October eighteenth, twenty eighteen. Meghan Markle seemed in very good spirits despite having jet lag. According to a tweet by ABC correspondent Omid Scobie who has been following the royal couple on their Australian tour, the Duchess told the group that she was up doing yoga at 4.30 a.m. Because she couldn't sleep. She was heard saying, it's so good for healing the mind. The Duke and Duchess received more gifts, including a huge stuffed bear and a bunch of carrots. Meghan seemed thrilled by the veggies. They are getting plenty of baby gifts every stop they make. This new royal baby will be their first child together and the excitement is building. Duchess Meghan is barely showing right now, but the baby bump watches on now for the next few months.